The IPAS study was uh, a key study in our field, which uh, basically took patients with uh, advanced lung adenocarcinoma uh, without knowledge of the EGFR gene mutation status and compared an EGFR inhibitor, Jofetinib, with standard chemotherapy such as carboplatin and Taxol. And when the results were obtained, it turned out that the two groups fared about the same over the long term. But when it was looked at how patients with EGFR gene mutations versus patients with EGFR wild type tumors did, there was a huge discrepancy where the EGFR inhibitor had a 70 fold higher benefit to EGFR mutant patients than wild type patients as it comes to response rates 70% plus for EGFR mutants and 1% for EGFR wild type. And for that particular population of patients, for the EGFR mutated patients, the response rate was twice as high as with conventional chemotherapy. Patients lived without the cancer worsening twice as long, and the quality of life was better. This was the first study that fully identified that we have to put in a tremendous effort to identify our patients early on with the EGFR gene mutations and make sure that they receive an upfront EGFR TKI as much as that's possible.